Hello friends, in the series which we are doing on understanding popular culture, today we will talk about the expression of popular culture on television. As all of us are aware that how television is a medium in terms of a mass media channel and how it has played an important role in terms of uh, disseminating a lot of information because in the earlier times how news bulletins etc they were being transmitted on television and uh, the issue of entertainment was not much connected in the initial portion uh, with television but over a period of time the kind of developments which have taken place uh, in the television sector we find that how it became a 24 into 7 uh, a kind of a network where so many channels, more than 1000 channels nowadays uh, which are available to the audience with on a uh, click uh, of uh, the remote. So that way uh, television is uh, uh, an important medium and how both television and cinema they have tried to uh, express the popular culture, uh, the various facets of popular culture they have been uh, exhibited on the television uh, since its inception and time again uh, we find that the different kinds of programming which has been done on television plays an important role uh, in that context. In the uh, framework of the references in uh, bibliography one can uh, refer to Amit Khanna how films and TV serials became our guide to Indian culture, Juhi Prakash impact of TV and reality TV on our culture, Nayanika Sen evolution of Hindi TV and their portrayal of Indian values. So, these are uh, some of the readings which one can refer, Hava Shukla portrayal of Indian culture in Indian TV and uh, Manoj Sharma Adunikta or Sanskritik Rupantran, Sanskriti Media or Ubhog Me Bharti Pravartiyan in Anurudh Desh Pandey edited Bismis Sadi Ke Tehas Ke Kuch Pramukh Buddhe. So, these are some of the readings which one can refer when one is talking about uh, how the popular culture is being expressed on television and they are when we tend to understand popular culture uh, how we see it in that framework that the various kinds of cultural products be it in the framework of fashion, dance, film, radio, music, art, literature and how these kind of things which are being used by the non-elites or the common people. So, uh, popular culture basically in term in, in, in the in the language of John Story would refer to the popular cultural products which appeal to a broad spectrum of people. Popular culture keeps changing constantly and is specific to time and place. So, when we tend to understand and when we try to see the expression of the popular culture on the television, we find that uh, so many channels which are uh, trying to cater to the audience and how the, uh, these channels they have also have certain kind of genres. And in that context we find that there, there are certain channels which are devoted to music, certain channels which are only catering to films, certain channels uh, which are concerned with fashion. So, many many of the channels may be dealing with the kind of uh, uh, devotional or mythological channels. So, all these kinds of channels which are uh, being uh, which are be, uh, catering uh, to the audience they, they, they are being seen in different kinds of genres. And when they try to communicate uh, their programs, for example, the, we, we also find that there is a lot of uh, reality TV nowadays. So, that has also been seen in that particular framework and how reality TV, uh, it has brought a lot of change uh, in the context of culture as well that many of the things uh, which were not acceptable to the audience in the earlier times and with the advent of uh, their reality TV. Uh, we find that all these things uh, they were also being shown to the audience. So, in that context when we tend to understand uh, the, the role of television in terms of uh, expression of uh, the culture or the ideas of uh, popular culture, then we definitely find that it has played a very important role and the kind of reach which television has. Uh, uh, in the present times with the arrival of the DTH direct to home uh, where we find that so many uh, dis, uh, dis TV channels they are being uh, offered to the audience. So, that way it has, uh, it has made a remarkable journey and uh, when we tend to understand uh, 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 the popular culture in the framework of uh, the Gramscian ideas, we find that how 
uh, it has also be seen it has also been seen in the context of uh, hegemony in the gramscian terms and the people those who are uh, those who belong to uh, common uh, or ordinary strata of society uh, they they are uh, they 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 belong to that kind of a culture which is referred to as uh, popular culture and how uh, we find that uh, the different kinds of channels they have played an important role in terms of disseminating uh, the uh, the kind of cultural uh, ideas uh, which are there and uh, in this uh, particular uh, theme we find that how entertainment sports television uh, is also playing an important role and how cinema uh, cinema as well as cricket both these things which are very popular in india and uh, on television we have uh, different sports channel which are only showing uh, uh, cricket especially and uh, in the context of television we have uh, so many channels which are only offering uh, movies or films so uh, this this kind of an acceptance of both these important things in the uh, framework of indian culture uh, we find that there is a lot of audience in that particular kind of a context and uh, we also find that how tv plays an important role in the context of uh, providing information that how so many news channels they also operate and how it also plays an important role in terms of creating an impact on the masses and uh, uh, various tv uh, tv series or tv serials they also impact uh, uh, the people as well as uh, people are able to connect uh, with the, the tv in the context uh, of their friends or with uh, neighborhood so uh, this kind of uh, arrival of tv in the living rooms and uh, everyday viewing uh, by people of the television sets so they are connected to certain programs and these programs are time and again uh, exhibited to the audience at regular a uh, particular regular time and they become addicted in certain sense uh, to this kind of program programming and uh, we also find that uh, people they also criticize television that they are uh, some sort of a distraction for the children and children they are not able to concentrate on their studies uh, because uh, they are focusing too much on television and this is, uh, is has in recent times been also linked uh, to the arrival of uh, the uh, smart uh, mobile phones that how children especially during the pandemic and even after that have become addicted uh, to the kind of uh, programs which are also available uh, on the smart mobile phones and so many te television channels they are also available on the uh, mobile phones as well so people are not only addicted to the television screen but they are also in a way Uh, um, uh, connected or addicted to the mobile phones as well so we find that how uh, tv plays an important role in terms of shaping the attitudes of the people the values and the tastes uh, which are there and uh, when we find that the kind of uh, official observations which were made by joshi committee report on the software for doordarshan and it observed that uh, if you want to get introduced to a country and its people uh, then watch its tv so how tv uh, becomes some sort of a mirror of a nation's uh, personality the kind of programming uh, which is being shown on the uh, television how it also reflects the kind of a culture of that uh, particular uh, nation or a country and over a period of time it also becomes some sort of a mirror of a nation's personality and uh, it in a way can recall about the past it can dwell upon uh, the present and it can also peak peep into the future of a society so when we tend to understand the kind of role which has been played by television in in a country like india where uh, uh, we find that uh, it has so so many or rather we can say innumerable diversities in india on the basis of caste language uh, region religion Uh, language so these kinds of diversity which are there in india and that is why we find that so many television channels which are there in india uh, they are in so many local dialects and languages as well and they cater to that local population and we find that how tv over a period of time is acquiring new dimensions and its reach is also increasing 
because it is not uh, uh, not only there in the urban centers, but it is also moving into the far flung areas and uh, the arrival of uh, DTH has uh, made this task comparatively easier that uh, the, uh, the TV signals they could be easily received through the system of the satellites. And we also find that the kind of changes which have happened in the technology, uh, they have also played an important role. And uh, we, we find that uh, when uh, the arrival of technology uh, uh, in the recent times which has taken place, it has revolutionized uh, the TV industry uh, as well. And when we uh, tend to go back to the kind of developments which took place in the initial, uh, initial times, then we find that an experimental TV service was introduced in India uh, with the inauguration of the Delhi Kendra with a UNESCO grant on 15 September uh, 1959. And thereafter, uh, we find that the entertainment and the information programs, they were uh, introduced from August 1965 and daily transmission began in 1965 as a part of All India uh, Radio AIR. And thereafter, we find that other TV centers, as you can see on the screen as well, Bombay, Srinagar, Jalandhar, Calcutta, Madras and Lucknow, uh, they also came into existence. Uh, and from 1972 onwards in quick succession. So, the coming of all these kinds of TV centers in different parts of the country, they also uh, provided some kind of a thrust to uh, the development of this uh, kind of a medium which was comparatively, uh, comparatively new uh, in the context of India and uh, as, late as, as late as 1980s or rather uh, late 1980s, we do not find that uh, many television sets they were be they were available uh, to the Indian masses, and uh, many times we could see that in a certain locality one or two uh, television sets they existed. But uh, things changed over a period of time, and uh, the most momentous uh, development in TV in India was the one-year satellite instructional uh, TV experiment site, uh, which was inaugurated on August first, nineteen seventy-five. And the site program generated tremendous interest among the people of the six states in which uh, it was launched. And uh, as I told you that uh, a number of TV centers, they were also being opened and uh, among them Doodarshan was the biggest one. And uh, thereafter the proliferation or the development of the different kinds of programming on TV also took place. And uh, we find that initially Doodarshan was the only channel which was owned by the government and thereafter uh, we find that certain channels na named uh, with the title of the DD uh, Metro or the Metro channels, they, they, they were started, uh, but they were only available in the metro cities and they were not available to the other uh, regions of India. So, these kinds of developments which began in the early 1990s. And when we find that, uh, that how the cable television, uh, it came to India and with the arrival of the cable television, we, we find that more channels, they were being uh, transmitted to the Indian television sets. And uh, that period uh, brought some kind of a boom uh, to the television industry as well. And uh, we also find that how advertising is also related uh, to this aspect and how uh, uh, broadcasters, uh, they, they, they also get a lot of revenue from the advertisements. And nowadays, we see that how uh, news is also not being left uh, behind in terms of advertising that uh, even during the breaks, uh, when uh, they have to show uh, uh, the they have to show the advertisements that is some kind of an accepted norm but apart from that also we find that even when the new news is being broadcasted on television even then certain advertisements they are being shown uh, on the screen uh, with a on a small strip uh, at the at the lower end of the television set so that way uh, we find that this kind of uh, this kind of aggressive advertising uh, has been an important concern in the context of uh, the recent times. Uh, we also see, uh, if we tend to understand or try to see the TV of 1980s, then we find that certain serials like Ramayana and Mahabharat, uh, they were being shown at that point of time. Uh, and before that, shows like Hamlog, which was aired in 1984. It was 
dealing with the Indian middle class families and their uh, daily lives and their aspirations. And thereafter, there was a serial called Bunyad, which was dealing with the partition of India in 1947 and its aftermath. So, these serials, they, they were some sort of a building blocks in the development of a journey of television in the context of airing uh, the TV serials. And uh, we also find that not only uh, they broadcasted these television serials, but at the same time certain, uh, certain programs like Ye Jo Hai Zindagi, which was some sort of a the comedy program, it also became hugely popular at that point of time and uh, we also find that there was a serial called Foggy which was made in 1989 and uh, it was uh, related in the context that how Shah Rukh Khan acted in that particular serial and thereafter he went into films. So, apart from that we also have certain uh, serials like uh, Vikram Betal and Malgudi days which became quite popular in 1980s in early 1990s and uh, we uh, when we tend to see that what are the positives and the kind of negatives when one is trying to uh, attach itself to the television uh, industry or uh, to the television itself then uh, there are the, the other critics those who say that how tele television has been responsible for inciting the violence uh, corrupting the mind of the young and creating some kind of a make believe world of illusion to keep away from reality. And what one has to also see that if uh, television can distort and distract, then it can also instruct and inspire. And that is how one has to see television, the kind of positive role uh, it has also uh, uh, tried to play uh, in, 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 in the lives of the people and uh, the various kinds of cultural traditions of India, uh, how uh, in, uh, they have also been exhibited on uh, television over a period of time. And uh, we also have seen that how news channels, they provide not only information, uh, but at the same time, they also take the audience to that particular scene because the kind of uh, live uh, broadcasting which happens nowadays we find that audiences uh, audiences being taken to the scene itself and this creates some sense of a, some sense of an excitement and involvement of the viewers uh, which cannot be matched in any other medium because of the fact that how this kind of a reporting which is the live reporting uh, takes the audience directly to that particular uh, scene and uh, we also find that uh, during uh, during that particular period when uh, Doordarshan was the only channel, uh, even uh, it was being criticized that how it was in a way catering to the particular government uh, which was the ruling dispensation. And uh, uh, the question of autonomy which was attached to Doordarshan was time and again uh, questioned by the opposition parties. And we also find when we tend to understand the television of the 1980s, uh, we find that how the issues of the family and the daily struggles of uh, the individuals, they were gi given some kind of a prominence on uh, various shows. And uh, there, was a, there was a serial called Thomas, which was dealing with the, the issue of partition and the effects of partition uh, during, uh, during 1980s as well. And uh, many a times we see that the ideals of patriotism, nationalism and uh, the ideas which are related to, uh, in the context of motivating, motivating the young, younger generation to join the army and other defense forces, uh, they could also be seen in certain programs of uh, television. And uh, we find that uh, when you see the period of Doordarshan, then it was also being referred as the golden age of the Indian TV as it, it was in a way bound, bounding the people together uh, every evening, one family, one nation, one channel, one culture. So, that was the kind of thing which was associated with uh, Doordarshan. And thereafter, as I told you earlier as well, that how the arrival of the private TV channels in India uh, with the arrival of the cable television and then the regional channels uh, which also came and with DTH we find that so many international channels they also uh, came to India and uh, some of the programs they, they ran for a successful uh, or a comparably successful period of time for example there was a serial called Tara uh, which ran for more than 5 years and we find that uh, many many of the TV serials of the 1990s, 
uh, they, they were based on some of the fictional plots and uh, but at the same time they were also trying to show the reality uh, in a certain context and the working women and the problems which were being faced by uh, the working women they were also being shown on television and uh, some of the modern themes they were also being uh, shown in certain serials during that a uh, point of time we also find that how uh, westernization al was also making some kind of an impact on the indian society and some of the shows they were dealing with these uh, kinds of issues as well and uh, uh, we find that uh, when uh, when when su such kind of serials uh, which were uh, which were concerned with the development of the 1990s when they were being broadcasted on the television then uh, they brought a lot of changes in the uh, context of the television programming as well as the television viewing uh, in the context of the indian uh, audience and then thereafter we see uh, some of the serials uh, uh, in 2000s where we find that uh, the k serials which are being referred to as the k serials kyunki saas bhi kabhi bahu thi Uh, where the main characters tulsi and parvati they symbolize the indian values so that way the the showing of uh, these kinds of characters in uh, uh, certain uh, tv programs and uh, certain television series so they were trying to portray the indian characters which were trying to convey the indian values so you may have some kind of critics of Uh, this idea in the context of the indian values that there are no uniform indian values and uh, they, they 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 themselves can be contested but there are certain ideas uh, which are intrinsic uh, to the indian culture when we use the term indian culture similarly there are certain value systems which are intrinsic uh, to the indian value system so one has to in a way uh, try to assess uh, the these kinds of development from uh, that particular uh, perspective and we also find that certain uh, uh, certain companies which were uh, dealing in terms of television programming they also became very very uh, popular and how they were able to churn out successful serials or tv series or television programs uh, not only profited them in that context that they were able to secure more revenue for themselves but at the same time they were able to establish themselves uh, in the television uh, industry and uh, we we also find that how uh, tv not only preserved the indian culture but also reflected uh, the aspirations of uh, the young indians in the uh, in the times when there were a lot of change which was happening with the arrival of the liberalization globalization and privatization in the 1990s so uh, and uh, the and this kind of a change was not only reflected in the Uh, television programs or television viewing but we also find that these kinds of changes which came uh, they came in the value systems as well uh, because uh, over a period of time we find that the kind of programs which were being aired or shown in 1990s and the programs which are shown now they themselves have uh, a lot of change uh, and this change is also reflective uh, is also indicative of the fact that the soci society is also changing Uh, and we find that how over a period of time the viewership also increased in numbers and the shows and the channels they also uh, increased and how the arrival of the foreign capital which came to india during the 1990s uh, where a lot of tv programs they were also being imported from abroad in that sense and how uh, globalization also affected the television industry and we also find that uh, some of the channels they are related uh, to, uh, they are being dedicated to the idea of devotion and how many of the television channels they they, they are seen to be uh, devoted to uh, the uh, religion or the idea of uh, or the idea of uh, devotion and that is how you see channels like aastha which have become popular and uh, we also have seen that how uh, popular culture has also been impacted in some way by the films and the television and how uh, the lives of the people has also also uh, been influenced by these uh, media channels and uh, we also see that how festivals they are being uh, celebrated on television not only in the context of the serials which are showing that how each and every festival it is being uh, 
celebrated. But at the same time, uh, we find that certain serious programs, certain informative programs, they, they are also being made and they are being also shown uh, on the television and how they also play an important role in terms of providing information to the masses uh, regarding these uh, regarding these festivals. So, one comes uh, across uh, uh, the various kinds of trends, uh, the various kinds of festivals, various kinds of uh, uh, cultural uh, communications which are happening in the society and television definitely has played an important role in this context. Uh, more about uh, the expression of the popular culture uh, in the context of television will be taken up in our next lecture. Uh, thank you very much.